Hey, Corey and Willie, this is Josh over at McKeg. I knew you wanted some pictures of this 2011 Suburban, so I thought, man, I'll just come out there and shoot a little video. So remember, I am not a paid actor, but I can operate this little camera. So uh, I figured this would beat the heck out of some still pictures any day of the week. But I'm just going to do a little bit of kind of a walk around here. So this is the 2011 Black Suburban LT. We'll just kind of pretend you're here with us. That way it's a little easier, but there's a shot of the back. We'll look inside here in a sec. There's looking down this side. So you're going to see here, here's what we have the uh, Texas edition. So that's going to give you the 20 inch wheels and tires. And you're also going to have that 5.3 V8. And that's the same as what Willie has in the red truck. So it's not any kind of a smaller engine or it's not the real big beast 6.0 that I think that is available, but that's in like three quarter tons. But it will get you, uh, I believe it's around 8,100 for towing. So if y'all are pulling a camper, boat, whatever, four wheelers, something like that, you'll have plenty of towing if you take the old family truckster there. But there's a shot of the front. So you're gonna see you're gonna have fog lights, you got the jazzy front uh, grill there you got your luggage rack all that good stuff chrome mirrors that also comes with Texas and you're also gonna have the uh, chrome handles see that there we'll jump in the front in a minute let's check out the back so what we're gonna see here is the second row captains and as you can see it is ebony interior which I like don't get me wrong the tan is pretty I know they have a fancy name for it but it's tan to you and I it just shows all the dirt, you know. So when somebody's back here, you're gonna have some controls there. You also have power outlet, and you're also gonna have cup holders there at the bottom. And for the kiddos to jump in the back, there's your back bench seating. And of course, you're gonna have your, there's your air fence. Gotta have it in our Texas and Louisiana heat. Okay, so there's kind of a look there. In the side, you're gonna have some wood grain. And we'll go to the back here. Okay, so there's the easy lift tailgate. All right, back here, you're gonna have a ton of cargo room. So I'll kind of put my hand there so you can kind of see you got a ton of room here in the Suburban and it beats the Tahoe by like 30 cubic feet of total cargo space when the back seats are, are laid down. But as you can see, it's pretty easy. The back two seats will fold or come out. So you can take one of them out, leave one of them and still carry one, two, three, four, five people. Or you can uh, leave them both up, take them both out and really have some major cargo room in the back. But over here, you're going to have another PowerPoint. That's the great thing about the GM vehicles is they love their PowerPoint. So you're going to be able to hook up stuff everywhere. So if you're at camping, the ballpark, whatever, you'll be able to hook up cell phones, cameras, anything there. And then back here, you're going to have tie downs. So that's good. Okay, so there's a look there. Then you just reach up here to grab it. And before I shut it, to kind of give you an idea, there's that backup camera. I'll show you that here in a minute. But when it comes down all the way, I'll kind of squat down. You can see it kind of hides out of view. And we'll come on down and there's your towing package. So all that's ready to go. With transmission cooler and all that stuff built in. I know Willie will like that. It's just going to be set up just like his truck. And then of course you uh, also have the back glass that you can pop it'll come right open so you can load stuff into the back that way there you go and if you can look up at the sky there you see that it is defrosted so that's nice okay so we'll shut this all right i'm going to show you something on the remote here i just popped the uh the back glass using this feature now this other feature we're going to lock the vehicle okay then we're gonna hit the remote start. There we go, I love it. So when it's real hot outside or real cold outside, 
you can go ahead and crank the vehicle from inside. You may have this on your Yukon already, but if not, you'll absolutely love the uh, remote start feature. Once you have it, you just you won't want anything else, I'm telling you. But there's that little back spoiler with the light, like I said, luggage rack. So now we're just going to jump inside real quick. All right, now once we open the driver's side, you're going to see we got the buckets up front, all right? And you're going to have your power seat. If you do the option where we put the heated seat, they'll install a little button somewhere right around here, and that's going to be your heated seats. But they can put it in and do a tremendous job. We've had a lot of happy people that have done it so far. And there's a little bit of wood grain and all your power features on your door. So we'll jump in real quick. And just in case you didn't know, all you gotta do, put the key in and turn it forward. Okay, I, I, I don't know, I don't have any idea who was listening to that, it wasn't me. So uh, yeah, anyway, moving on. So we're gonna come over here back to the steering wheel. And there's all your controls. There's eight whole miles, and man, it feels good. Oh my gosh, I love it outside. There's your controls there. Then your steering wheel, I love these, because you're gonna be able to change stations here. You can mute it here and change your source here, so you can go from XM to FM, AM, CD, or whatever. And then as you can see back behind, you're gonna have your volume up and your volume down, so that way you can still drive and jam or do whatever. You can talk on the phone, we'll get your phone set up uh, Bluetooth, that way it's hands-free in the vehicle and that is safer. Then over here you're going to have all your crews. Uh, over here just like your Yukon, you're going to have all your automatic lights and all that good stuff. And down here is your, let me see if I can't get a shot of that, I told you this wasn't professional. There's that braking aid, so that's good, that's all built in. And just to give you a little rundown, your driver information center over here. And everything's nice and wood grain. And of course, there's your stereo. And we'll see if we can get down here. I know if Jordan and them and Jeff watch this, they'll make fun of my camera work, but that's all right. Uh, down here, you're going to have your digital air. So once again, don't know if your Yukon has it or not, but you can actually turn up either side digitally or put it on automatic to a desired temperature. That's what I love about it. Then down below you do have power pedals. This is your, uh, whenever you're backing up, it's gonna show you like if, it'll start beeping at you to let you know you're about to hit something. And then of course traction control. And then, don't you know, Chevy's gonna have plenty of power points. I love it. And then right down here in the middle, you'll have your cup holders. And then your console that lifts up. And, you guessed it. Another power point right there. And then also a little USB right there, so that's good. Okay, so we'll shut that, kind of give you an idea. And there's a look, looking back into the passenger seating area. So I know you talked to Ken on the phone, we could either go up top and put a DVD in that has a light built into it, or we can put in the DVD into the back of the headrest and the family could watch different programs at the same time. It's pretty neat. Pretty neat stuff. So there you go, and I promised I was going to show you something. If we look at your mirror here, since the vehicle is started... So once the vehicle started, and we go to put it in reverse... Hey, look who we have here, there's Kent. <laughs> hey, that rear view camera does wonders for his figure. <laughs> oh, and he got too close and started beeping. So there's your rear view right there. So there you go. We'll kind of ease out. And I know Kent's here. He may want to say hi to you real quick. Hi, Corey. How are you? All right. So we hope this video finds you well. We'll get this to you. And hopefully you can see it tonight. And Kent and I will get you some figures worked up on heated seats, sunroof, and the DVD installed in the headrest. We can do all that for you before we bring it. So we'll get that to you, then also get you that trade information. So we sure appreciate y'all. And if you have questions, give us a call. We'll flash our numbers on the screen below. Or you can send me an email, joshandmckeg.net. And there you have it. Hey, appreciate y'all.
y'all. Have a good one.